Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Wrestling Fans International Association is back. That's right, the premier fan club association of the 1970s and 1980s has been revived and is back in business. Join today. It's free at the WFIA.org. That's T H E W F I A.org. You can also join us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash groups slash WFIA 1969. Everybody to the 1987 Super Mod. I am your host, Brad Drake, as always. And this is the World Wrestling Federation all month long for the month of October here. The WWF is on tour and at the Golden Dome. And that is on the campus of a junior college in Pennsylvania. Uh, offhand, I think it's Monica, Pennsylvania is where it's at. And it's actually a junior college. Uh, gymnasium and the WWF used to run there and then later on ECW ran there and that's actually where Bam Bam Bigelow defeated Shane Douglas for the ECW heavyweight championship of the world so a little bit of interesting information there about the Golden Dome all right we are not on TV because we are running a house show here absent workers nobody except who we expect to be out Let's double check our back. Let's check our backstage incidents. Bobby Heenan got in some trouble with the King Harley race. I have a hard time believing that, but Bobby Heenan is going to be buying some drinks for everybody after the show. Superstar Billy Graham and Jesse Ventura are doing their thing here, their protege work. And here we go, Pedro Morales with his new protege, Gustavo Mendoza. And Ken Patera and Al Navarro are going to do their thing. Once again, Al Navarro's got a terrific Camaro-style mullet. And I apologize, everybody, if my voice is still off. I am still suffering from the repercussions of COVID. And I'm uh, doing the best I can. I'm feeling a little bit better every day. Just my voice and, you know, my, uh, for lack of better terms, allergies and that are still off. My, my nose is still, I still got congestion. My nose is still running. I'm still coughing. So. Sorry, everybody, I'm, but I'm giving you everything I got. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and give this card a rundown for this evening. The Brooklyn Brawler himself, previous, of course, he's not the Brooklyn Brawler yet. Steve Lombardi will face Paul Roma. Tiger Chung Lee is going to mix it up with David San Martino. Scott Casey is going to face Ravishing Rick Rude. Killer Khan and superstar Billy Graham are going to get it on. Hillbilly Jim is going to face... Dino Bravo in singles action. Kamala will face Jake the Snake Roberts in singles action. The Islanders are going to battle Strike Force. Billy Jack Haynes and Paul Orndorff are going to lock horns here in singles action. The Mighty Hercules will face Bruno San Martino in the semi main. And in our main event, everybody, we are going to see Demolition face the team of Hulk Hogan and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Please excuse me for one second. I need to cough. All right, thank you. I am back in action here. And as usual, our asterisks indicate matches that have either been added or edited due to injury or feasibility. So, with that said, everybody, with all of that said, let's get to 
booking. Here we go to the opener with Lombardi and Paul Roma. Eight minutes on this one. And Lombardi versus Roma. Here is Steve Lombardi. Here is Paul Roma. Paul Roma, of course, is going to get the win here, everybody. And this was a real match. This really happened on this real show, no doubt about it. Tiger Chung Lee against David San Martino was up next. Eight minutes for this one. And here we go. Lee versus David San Martino. And here is Tiger Chung Lee. And here is David San Martino. We're going to leave this one open ended. This one's in the books. Up next here, another match, Cowboy. Scott Casey against newcomer Rick Rude. Remember the WWF plucked Rick Rude straight from Jim Crockett Promotions where Rude was one half of the World Tag Team Champions. These two actually battled around the country on house shows. And here is Scott Casey. Here is Rick Rude. I'm sure these two were familiar with each other from World Class. And there was probably a comfort level for them to work together around the country on the house show loop. Up next here, we have Killer Khan against superstar Billy Graham. Originally, Killer Khan faced Junkyard Dog on this show. But as we know, the dog is out injured. So we are going to have superstar Billy Graham in his place here. And superstar is going to get the W here, everybody. This one's in the books. Up next, Hillbilly Jim and Dino Bravo. They are also going to go 10 minutes. This match really took place. Probably was not the greatest of matches, but uh, then again, who knows? Here's Hillbilly Jim, and here is Dino Bravo. And we're going to leave this bout open-ended also. Why? Because we can. That's why Kamala is going to face Jake the Snake Roberts here. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, and there are quite a few of you, you're probably wondering why the card is laid out with this many matches. Well, the truth is, is we made this adjustment some time back. These house shows really had about six to eight matches on them. And you have to keep in mind the WWF was running three house shows per night. Well, in TEW, we are limited to only run be only run one of these shows per night, so we try to add matches and people that were on the other cards to get them service, to get use out of them. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize everybody, I had to cough again. And again, I am overcoming COVID, and it has not been an easy time. Uh, my voice is kind of shot. It seems to be coming back, and then I have some minor setbacks like I'm having right now. But I'm going to continue to try to push through and make this happen, everybody. All right, here are the Islanders, and here are their opponents for the even strike force. We're going to leave this one open-ended because, again, why not? Billy Jack Keynes and Paul Orndorff are going to go 16 here. This should be a good one, even though Orndorff is just screwed up in this save. So here is Billy Jack Keynes, or as Bobby Heenan would call him, Billy Jerk Keynes. <laughs> here is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. We're going to have Paul Orndorff get the win here, everybody. And we're going to do so with the help of his manager. Bobby Heenan. All right, that one is in the books. Now, we are up to our semi-main here. We have Hercules and Bruno San Martino going at it once again. We saw this uh, just a few shows ago in a chain match, I believe they had. Uh, this one is not going to be a chain match. So here we go. Hercules against Bruno San Martino. And these two were actually good in the ring together. You wouldn't think they would with two big 
powerful guys, but they actually were. I watched uh, one of their matches not too long ago, and they actually did well together. We're going to leave this one open-ended. I have a feeling the living legend Bruno San Martino is going to get the win. And now we're going to do a fun tag match. And that's going to be Demolition facing the team of Hulk Hogan and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. This should be a fun one. Demolition versus Hogan and Steamboat. And we're going to actually have Steamboat get the win here for this team. This is a good, solid babyface main event. We can run an epic. All four participants are well qualified. So let's go ahead and get this one rolling. We're at about two hours and 20 minutes here in the game world. And let's see how we do, everybody. All right, Lombardi and Roma. Roma gets the win with the flying elbow drop. 61. A lot better than what he usually does with his tag team partner. So pretty good stuff. And Tiger Chung Lee defeats David San Martino here with that Kiwi roll. 45 overall for these two men. Oh, my goodness. Our bad luck just continues here. Rick Rude beats Scott Casey, but suffers a broken ankle in the process. So let's get straight to it right now, because that's what we have to do. We're going to have to put Rick Rude on the shelf here, everybody. And who knows how long this one's going to take. Not good. Not good at all. We're going to get into a lot of injuries here. So... We are down to 23 serviceable heels and 27 serviceable baby faces. All right, let's see if there's any heat on Scott Casey here. And it doesn't look like there is. Superstar gets the win over Killer Khan here with that bear hug. 72 overall for these two, and that's a pretty darn good score. All right, Hillbilly Jim against Dino Bravo, and Bravo gets the win over Hillbilly with that side suplex. 68 overall, everybody. And here we go, Jake Roberts with the victory over Kamala with the knee lift. Kind of makes sense because it would probably be a little difficult to put a guy the size of Kamala down with a DDT. So I'm buying that knee lift on this match. All right, up next we have Islanders and Strike Force. And Rick Martell beats Tama with that Boston Crab. Good stuff, 82 overall. Years later, Paul Orndorff would call that a Quebec Crab. <laughs> And here we go, Paul Orndorff with the win, <laughs> excuse me, with the win over Billy Jack Haynes here with a pile driver, and of course that comes via the interference of Bobby the Brain Heenan. Here's our big semi-main here, and Bruno San Martino defeats Hercules with that bear hug. Outstanding score here for Bruno San Martino, and you better bet that that's based on product and the popularity of Bruno San Martino in the tri-state area. Here we go with our main event, everybody, and this is an exciting one as Hogan and Ricky Steamboat get the win over Demol Demolition, and Steamboat gets the win there with the flying karate chop right between the eyes, as the late, great Gorilla Monsoon would say. 95 overall, lots of green. Green equals money, everybody, in this one. Good show here. We're going to point out Hulk Hogan. We are going to point out Ricky Steamboat, and we're going to give Rick Rude some encouragement here because I feel bad about that injury. In fact, I'm not happy about it at all. All right. Hogan is pleased. Steamboat is pleased. Rick Rude is pleased. Brad Drake's not so pleased. I'm not digging that injury at all. In fact, it kind of pisses me off. But uh, what are you going to do? That's how TEW goes, and TEW does its own thing at times. All right. Let's bring us back to the main screen here. We'll be wrapping this one up pretty soon. My voice is shot. I was going to record several episodes today, but... Uh, it's not going to happen. I'm coughing. My nose is stuffed and uh, just not doing well here, everybody. All right. So we are back to the main screen here. Let's check our incoming. DiBiase is now toned, which was never true. Rick Root, of course, is out. Bravo's tired. David San Martino's tired. Ooh, Hogan knocks Killer Khan. Let's check on the status of Root, see if there's any surgery that we can do for him. 50 days, no surgery available. Fair enough. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for us for this episode. We'll be back the next one to record an episode of Spectrum Wrestling. And for those of you that are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop us a message below. Let us know how you found the channel and what you think of us so far. For those of you that are looking for more, you can find it over on Patreon, patreon.com slash powercast. 
Network. For just $5, everybody will get access to all of our shows early and ad-free. You'll get access to all of our spreadsheets and so much more. Check it out today, everybody. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Last but not least, check us out on social media, Facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 Supermodel. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.